Okay. Okay, Super Sister, you know, you was uh, talking about, we were talking about the film Black Panther, yeah, yeah. but you were, we were talking about different things. You know, you had you had the, the women, a lot of women had the, 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 the white the, dots. The dots, yes. Yeah. But there's men, uh, like uh, Killmonger has the has a scarification all over his body for the amount of kills. He's sort of, we call it, let's call him mercenary African. Ha African American, like like that everybody likes this, but whatever. Yeah. Um, but there was something else because the other guy with, with the with the Rhino tribe, you know, he has a scarification on his face. I've always been into scarification rather than tattooing. But tell us, you know, you said something about uh, uh, Tosa versus Zulu, not versus, but that th th that tribe. Like there's a tribe in between them. Um, they call themselves Amapata. Uh, the, the Amapata, uh, 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 what is it? Culture? Amapata culture? Amapata, a, a tribe actually. Okay, okay. Like, uh -huh. um, it's a splinter tribe that is situated between the border of um, the Eastern Cape and um, the KZN. And, and in, South, in Southern Africa. In Southern Africa. In Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. And not only is their their language a concoction of the two tribes, but they're possibly the, 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 the link between the two tribes. Ah. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. They they have no noticeable what you call it. their scarification is is noticeable as in it, it, it's like. Uh, an incision that is uh, made at depth uh, from the, the top of their cheeks right to the bottom of their jaw. Mm -hmm. And yeah. When I, went, I first learned about scarification a very long time ago, this must have been in the 80s, and I've always been fascinated about scarification, but, but I didn't learn from this area, it's more, more, the, more, more up eastern Africa, you know, oh, that, yes, that, that, yes. That, that does. Actually, with Killmonger's particular scarification, it, uh, it is actually a way of identifying a certain tribe uh, located in Uganda. It's a Swahili tribe, ah, okay. Uganda and Tanzania. Okay, that's where the I know Fulani from. The Fulani and... Um, yeah, yeah, the Fulani, that's where, that's where I know the from. The Fulani, yeah. yes, yeah, 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 it's yeah, definitely yeah. the Fulani. Hmm. So they, they obvi obviously have uh, the scars on their torso mm -hmm. and other parts of their body and not necessarily being the face because they, they, they normally paint their face. Mm. Now one more thing, we just talked about it very briefly when we was walking over here yeah. uh, because I, people should know we're in Alice right now which is in the Eastern Cape Eastern but you said a couple of things, well first of all, there's, well, what, what star sparked it, I said well hey but they're supposed to be speaking closer and we, we know they sort of bitch, butchered the closer learning, not butchered it, but you know, a few things off. But I noticed they used the, the word Baba. I'm saying, no, Baba's not a closer word. Like Tata is closer. Baba is more, is more Zulu. And Baba, I, I love that word only because it can mean elder or baby, you know. But, but uh, Tata is mainly elder, you know, or father, you know, elder like that. So, what, but, but just tell us about the, the, the language, you know, what, what you thought about well, that. Well, they're, 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 they're very closely related. And the correlation between Zulu and Kosa is that it is, um, it's pretty much one and the same. It's almost like the Spartans and the Athenians. Mm -hmm. um, you could have Umfana, for instance, being a, a, a word used for a young chap or young boy mm -hmm. in Isu. And then you could have Umfana mm -hmm. as a grown man in Isi Tosa, mm -hmm. which again dictates that words of a similar nature mm. post the split of Nguni, Uzulu, no Tosa Because everybody comes from an Nguni yes, sort Nguni of Yes, Nguni was the father yeah, yeah. of Tosa, no Zulu yeah. not, not even cousins, but brothers who decided to yeah, yeah. build their own kingdoms and they obviously had the same usage of the same words in the same household however a different dialect came up and um, yeah. a certain new use for the same particular words also came about. Yeah, well, when I look at the film, I look at it as an African-American. I just think of it as, a, as almost like an African-American spin on Africa. You know, it's like a love letter to Africa. But because but, you didn't really have any African-American characters, except for the, except for the girl that, that Killmonger had his girlfriend killed before the revolution and him being half uh, African-American for the world. What do you as an African think about the, the film? Well, I'll be honest with you, um, the, the many injustices that white people, well, I won't say white people, but the West, the many injustices. The colonizers! Of, <laughs> yeah, the colonizers. I mean, 
look, it's enough. It's it's one thing to colonize the known world, right? Mm. Uh, the fact that you you take, you, they came, they took land, they ostracized us, they they kind they didn't really brainwash us, but kind of led us into believing that we we were good for nothing and we couldn't really do anything for ourselves. But it's another thing to actually play right on uh, on on. Um, on Fictional characters and 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 the, and, and, and the, the vestiges of the great greatness of, of what Africa was. There was African nobility. You take for instance, and in, during the the, the, the Greek uh, dynasties and, and even in ancient Egypt, the, the Nubian kingdoms were very powerful kingdoms. So it's it, it's 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 it actually offends me that there were people that. There were, there were Europeans, white people, that took it as a personal attack to them that there were no African American, sorry, that there were no white, it wasn't a balanced, uh, what you call that, casting with white people and black people. It, it's set in Wakanda, you've only got white people, sorry, the, the black people. Mm -hmm. And not only that, it's a, it's a fictional story, it, it, it's a comic story. Right. Let us celebrate Africa in some way. I mean, like we we already don't have the land. We 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 live in uh, deplorities and, 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 and so forth. And a lot so of on. places, but there's a lot of places. It's, it's coming back with the. It where, is, where, com with cities it is coming somewhere. back, yeah. but I mean, like someone should do us the courtesy of inspiring us and, and, and allowing us to feel and to know that at some point in time we were. We were better and we, we, we can do better. Thanks a lot. Thank you.